today on Rappler. A court suspends the murder trial of U.S. Marine Joseph Scott Pemberton. Rehabilitation Secretary Ping Lakson steps down on February 2015. And in a reversal, Sony decides to release the controversial film, The Interview, on Christmas Day. Hello, I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. An Alongapo court grants the motion of U.S. Marine Joseph Pemberton to suspend his murder trial pending a plea for the dismissal of his case. Pemberton's accused of murdering transgender Filipina Jennifer Laude in October. The suspension will last 60 days. Pemberton's lawyers say evidence linking him to the killing are, in their words, based on nothing but conjectures and speculations. The high-profile case sparked anti-U.S. sentiment in the Philippines. The U.S. government refuses to hand over custody to Philippine authorities, invoking the terms of the Visiting Forces Agreement between the two countries. Pemberton's currently under U.S. military guard at a Philippine military base in Manila. After a one-on-one -on -one discussion, President Benigno Aquino and Rehabilitation Secretary Ping Lakson agreed to wrap up the activities of the Office of the Presidential Assistant for Rehabilitation and Recovery by February 2015. Lakson earlier announced his resignation as Rehabilitation Secretary, saying his agency has served its purpose. After Lakson's resignation, the agency's mandate will be transferred to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. State Weather Bureau Pagasa says Christmas Eve will be rainy in many parts of the Philippines. In its 5 p.m. bulletin, Pagasa says Metro Manila and its neighboring provinces in Central and South Luzon will experience light to moderate rain. Pagasa says the cold front affects southern Luzon, while the northeast monsoon, or Amihan, continues to affect northern and central Luzon. In the U.S., a coalition of activists reject calls to suspend anti-police protests in New York. The murder of two police officers Saturday left New York in shock and sparked protests around the city. On Tuesday, dozens of protesters defied a call from New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio urging New Yorkers to stop demonstrating until both policemen are buried. Protesters are calling for a mass demonstration on New Year's Eve. In a reversal, Sony Pictures will release controversial film The Interview in selected U.S. theaters on Christmas Day. It's a dramatic turnaround after Sony canceled the film's release when hackers warned of a bitter fate similar to 9-11 for moviegoers. Sony was the victim of a crippling cyber attack that U.S. government security experts blamed on North Korea. The New York Times reports only between 200 to 300 cinemas are expected to show the film, a parody about the assassination of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. For the full stories, click on the links on your screen. And for those of you watching on mobile, the links can be found on the titles on the article. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter which gives you eight emotions to choose from. If you look at the mood navigator in the middle of the front page today, what we see, the top story is a lifestyle piece um, from the perspective of a British gentleman who wrote about what he learned from dating a Filipino woman. 17% uh, inspired, 57% happy, that mood bringing out the mood of the day. Today, most people are happy. Well, that is the wrap for today, Wednesday, December 24, 2014. It's Christmas Eve. Visit Raffer.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Rap and Talk Thursday. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today. <laughs>